Hello everyone. We are back with a global inspirational man series. What do you expect when you see a show like Global Inspiration? People who are inspiring you, people who are there making an impact which is loud and clear. And you want to be inspired. You want to see how they are doing what they are doing. And today we have an amazing, amazing personality all the way from India. He is presenting all of you with Dr. Sandeep Soparkar. Welcome, Sandeep. Thank you so much for calling me on your show. It feels wonderful to be here. Thank you. I really wanted to talk to you since the time we met very recently at a award ceremony in Zurich, which was Bharat Gaurav Samman. I just want to give a small introduction about you, Sandeep. Um, Sandeep Before you do that, I need yes. to congratulate you for the award that you won that day. <laughs> so it's not just me who was there. I was there for this award show for everyone to know, which you won. So congratulations for the Samman Award that you got. You are very well deserving for it and congratulations, all the very best for it. Thank you. Thank you so much. And same to you. Before we met, I was already in awe of him. So I had already read a lot of things about him and seen his dance styles. Um, he is an Indian, Latin and ballroom dancer. A Bollywood choreographer, actor, columnist, dance reality show judge, radio jockey, and a TEDx speaker. Guys, can you believe so many things in one person, which is amazing, amazing. That's not enough. He holds a doctorate in world mythology folklore from Pasivia Graduate Institute, United States, and also has honorary doctorate in performing arts from National American University. He has been conferred with three National Excellence Awards and one National Achievement Award by the Government of India. And he is the only recipient of Rabindra Tagore Literary Prize for Social Achievement. He founded India Dance Week, which combines Indian and international dance. At the British House of Commons, World Book of Records, Indo-British Cultural Forum, Sandeep was honored with the title of ballroom dance jewel oh my god the list is unless i can keep talking keep talking but it won't finish our audience would love to know you a bit more <laughs> <laughs> well i think uh, these awards are just um, a pat on the back which just says keep doing hard work what sandeep really is i am just a dancer sandeep is just a dancer a simple plain dancer and what a dancer is, a dancer is someone who is, who just gives his whole life to a dance form. And that is what I have done. I live dance. I wake up with dance. I sleep with dance. My whole day just goes in just dancing either for myself or for somebody else. Making some people dance, choreographing things. It's all about the things around dancing. The only word that I think today, some people in fact even say that, oh, dancer is very not a very respectable word but to me dancer is the highest respectable word in the world because there's a lot that comes with the dancer when you say the word dancer what first thing comes to your mind is posture personality body beauty fitness there's so much that comes when you say dancer when you say dance teacher what comes to your mind knowledge yeah patience love hospitality there's so much that comes uh, in when you say a dance teacher. So the word dance is like the wholesome, it's like, it's like the mother earth. Dharti kya hai? Dharti hume sab kuch deti hai. Pani se leke khana deti hai. Pyaar se leke ke shitalta deti hai. It gives us everything. The earth is the provider. And dancer is that wholesome body. So I think I am just a dancer. Wow. So beautifully said, the words that you use can only come from a TEDx speaker who just <laughs> improvises back and forth, back and forth. So very rightly said, uh, dancer, like, you know, it's, it's our Indian mindset, I would say, in some places, uh, you know, people think he's a dancer. How much must be he earning? Itna ke dancer bana, you know, those kind of things. So I think it's high time that we, people need to change the mindset, how they think about a particular profession. Good. 
because dancers as you said they have so much to tell everything via their dance form you know whether it's uh, the beauty of mother nature the beauty of a particular dance style whatever you know it's through expressions it's through body language their eyes their hands and everything it's like a wholesome thing and i i am also very fond of dancing i used to choreograph shows back when i was in india i love dancing myself and i would always be looking at different dance forms uh, is there a particular dance form that sandeep loves the most and he's very very proud of it and likes to just flaunt it all the time <laughs> well i'm trained in ballroom dancing so i would definitely say that i love ballroom dance forms be the rumba pasdoble tango cha cha jive samba salsa merengue all these couple dances i just love all of them mm-hmm. not only because i'm trained in it and i'm teaching it but also because i believe that these dances have so much depth to it we a lot of people outside look at them in a very frivolous way that oh salsa let's go to the club let's have a drink in a hand a woman in arms and let's do the salsa or the waltz is just put somebody in your arms and just you know sway them around the place and that's what it is well yes it is one way to come close to each other but there is a lot of depth to this art which only when you study it when you go more into it you realize that the culture of ballroom dancing dates back 4350 bc 4350 isa purv itna purana ye art form hai which people don't realize when marriage came into being jab aadmi aurat man woman was supposed to come together and that is when the ballroom dancing evolved when i studied this dance ma'am you will not believe i was for for me in the beginning it was oh i was 14 15 12 13 kind of a age when you want to dance with young girls you know and you want to have these hey, any young man wants to do that closest to my dance class was this place where all these hot chicks used to come and i was like oh wow let's go and dance it began that way i will not say no for it i will accept the honesty and speak honestly about it i realized later that ballroom dancing why i loved it so much not only because i was in partnering with somebody but because it had that depth many people don't even know that in ballroom dancing we have seven basic postures which we are dancing all of us most of the time when we dance we hold that posture we dance but we don't know that these seven postures are related correlated to seven vows of the wedding so we say in in hinduism you say sat phere sat vachan right mm-hmm. and in in christianity you have the seven vows of the wedding yeah each of the vow has a posture in ballroom dancing attached to it that is why the first dance that you do with your partner after the wedding is a ballroom dance okay wow <laughs> so that what happens when you get married you've gotten married what do what do we do when we're getting married what clothes to stitch what food to eat where to go for honeymoon which hotels to book who to call who not to call we do all that true true how many of us actually listen to the seven vows that we take how many of us remember those seven vows that we have taken we remember whether we were very manish malhotra or sabya sachi or varsachi <laughs> or armani gaon we remember that we hardly remember the seven vows mm mm-hmm. that is why they say that you must do ballroom dancing because it will each time make you remember your vows that you have taken with your partner wow because dance jo hai ballroom dance jo hai wo bandhta hai wo jodta hai wo saath mein rakhta hai aur badhata hai aage relationship ko so when i learned all this i fell in love with what i was doing it taught me that there is depth there is meaning mm-hmm. there is bhav there is bhavnae and if you keep that alive i think that love for the art till today has not died it's been over 50 years i've been dancing but it just it's so amazing wow wow just listening to it it's like wow i mean i was also thinking trying to remember saath phere kya the kya vachan the saath phere the <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest i don't remember <laughs> but yes uh, the other things that you said the materialistic things everyone remembers kaha propose kiya tha kaha gaye the kya khaya tha who were the celebrity guests and all those things people do remember you know so that's very cosmetic but yes uh, ballroom dancing is one of the things which people like and love and once they know the art of it they enjoy it 
and I can see that you're still, when you were talking, you were dancing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Very I believe true. everything around us dances. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When a child is born, the first thing child does is moves his legs and his hands. It's already dancing. True, true. Our breath in our body is dancing in and out, in and out. Just how we say left leg forward, right leg back, in and out, in and out. The blood in our body is dancing. Mm -hmm. The earth is dancing around the sun. True, true. Yes, everything around us is dancing. Mm -hmm. We have given it different names. Just dance. Look at the leaves. They are dancing when there's mm -hmm. wind, wind, wind blowing. I can and see. I, I can really right. see some one word to it. We all dance. <laughs> I can see Sandeep, when you talk about dance, you also get very excited, you also get very excited, you also get very excited, I see that chamak in your eyes, that you know, you are thinking about leaves ka hatna, you know, sun and like you're, you're making it like everything around us has a movement and that movement you are relating to dance, you know, uh, that's, that's, that's something only a dancer can think and feel and bring in his words so beautifully, uh, which, which I can see in your words and in your way of explanation. Uh, tell me something, I'm, I'm very curious, how did your journey as a ballroom dancer or as a, as a choreographer start in Bollywood? Well, it was a very um, sudden start actually. Mm -hmm. I was here in Bombay for a short while on a holiday. And uh, I went to a nightclub. I was dancing like we all do. And one man comes from behind and taps on my shoulder and says, are you a ballroom dancer? So I said, yes, I am. So he gives me a card, call me. So that sounds really strange. Somebody giving you a card in the middle of a nightclub, call me. So I was like, okay, next day morning, I did call him. And he said, you know, we are making a film and we would like you to uh, just come and meet the director and see if we can do something with ballroom dancing. So I was like, okay, I didn't even ask questions. I said, let me just go and meet. There's no harm in meeting new people. So I went ahead and who I walk in, which office I walk into and who I see in front of me, the legendary Sham Benegal, sir. And he sat with me and he said, I believe you're a ballroom dancer. I want to, I got to hear so much about you from my assistant who was watching you and made videos of you from the corner you were dancing. And uh, I'm making this film called Zubeda. And it's a period film. It's, it has Karishma Kapoor, Manoj Bajpai, Rekha Ji. And we would like you to choreograph that film for us. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I know nothing about choreography. <laughs> because I'm just a dancer. I'm choreographer. As a choreographer, you need to understand a lot more mm -hmm. in terms of camera, movement, lighting. You know, there's lots more to choreography of a, of a film song than just a, a stage choreography. Mm -hmm. So I said, I'm a stage dancer. I don't know camera dancing. So he said, don't worry, I will teach you. And I was in shock. Uh, award-winning director telling me I will teach you I think it was the biggest opportunity of a lifetime for anyone mm -hmm. and I said I will not miss this and I immediately said yes to him and I had Karishma Kapoor coming for training uh, Manojji coming for training Rekha Ji coming I think it was like a dream come true for anyone to have such accomplished artists it's the Nam Chin award-winning artist training and then Sham Benegal sir was explaining me about camera, lenses. That's how my first break happened. And in Bollywood, what happens in Bollywood? That if you have a picture hit, a song hit, everything gets hit. And well, uh, Zubeda was a critically acclaimed film. It won so many awards. It got me my first award as well. So it just kind of took off from there. And things uh, were quite easy mm -hmm. to begin with. But I would say the journey a little later was tougher. Because in, in Bollywood films, you get slotted. Mm -hmm. And I got slotted as romantic dances karne hai to soparkar ko bula lo. Ah, okay. You know, mm -hmm. sensual dances karne hai to soparkar ko bula lo. Like it was more to do with togetherness, man, woman, romance, hoga to unko bula lo. Mm -hmm. I was, it was tough to say can, I can do many more things. You know, I can do party numbers, I can do uh, maybe an item number, mm -hmm. but allow me an opportunity. But yes, it was tough until today it's a little difficult. I remember meeting um, Subhash Ghai sir and he said, Are mera ek sexy number hai. Uske liat mein, without you, I will not shoot it. So I think it's, it's that stereotype that gets attached to you in mm -hmm. the films. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened. But I don't mind because I think I do love songs very beautifully. And I, I'm proud of, of that. 
very nice and i think all the people who are going to be listening to us they better make sure that he sandeep is much more to dust what you have slotted him in so you know after hearing our interview more and more people are going to be approaching you with a different style as well because every dancer Thank has you. a style i'm i'm sure and we are looking forward to it we are really looking forward to it you know uh, rekha ji herself is a great dancer you know umrao ja all all the dances that she has done and karishma as well i'm a, i'm a ardent fan of both of them both of them are great dancers and you had the honor or they had the honor it's like both of you know both the parties had the honor of dancing together what more can you ask for as a very first bollywood debut i think you were the blessed and chosen one <laughs> and you know you will not believe what happened at the end of it so when the film shooting got over i he called sham ji called me to the office so i thought maybe it's just like a you know thank you bye bye kind of a, uh, afternoon i went and he gives me a check so i said what is this for he said this for the work that you have done I said I thought I was going to help you because said, I want help in ballroom dance. He said no, no, help was just for choreography, but you've done job with us, so you need to get paid for it. So I realized that yes, choreography for a film can also be a paid job. I thought he was asking me for help, and I was quite ready to do it for free. So I think uh, that made me really understand that yes, choreography in films has great potential. Mm-hmm. You had the opportunities of dancing your way through Bollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and I have been. I was fortunate enough to work with some amazing artists, Rithik Roshan, Priyanka Chopra, Ajay mm-hmm. Devgan. You know, there's so many of them. I have Kajol, Amisha Patel. There's so many I've been working with, Manisha Koirala, and that feels taboo. It feels so nice to co-rap such biggest names in the in the in cinema. Mm-hmm. Apart from that, directors like Madhur Bhandarkar, Vishal Bharadwaj, Ketan Mehta. I think mm-hmm. it's it's a wonderful feeling because each director teaches you so much, mm-hmm. and you go back as a as a choreographer. We go back enriched with our things. Or the artist hai, the uh, actor hai, who be हमें इतना challenge करता है that हम लोगों को अपनी choreography को बढ़ा चढ़ा के दिखाना पड़ता है. For example, with with Ritik Roshan, my first I planned something and I saw him dance like that. So I was like, okay. Then I told him, "Can I change it and make it tougher?" He said, "Sure, you can." So I made it tougher. That also came out of like that. So I think, as a choreographer, you are challenged when you get an artist who is really worth it. Mm-hmm. So I, that's a wonderful feeling to work with such great actors. Uh, and so, I can see and you are a teacher. <laughs> you work with youngsters as well. You know exactly what I'm saying when it comes to a student who comes to you with with great knowledge and great responsibility to do it ahead as well and dedication mm-hmm. to go ahead. True. You as a teacher want to give them everything that you have. Exactly, and I can I could feel when you were talking about all these great people, you know, the directors as well as the actors and actresses. You had that spark in your eyes, you know, because you were taking some really wow Bollywood names. But tell me, it's like Ajay Devgan is one name that comes to my mind immediately because you have taken his name. Or I have also met him here in Switzerland, and I could feel that he is not a dancer type, though he does the moves very well. So tell us something about the experience where you made a non-dancer dance and he did that brilliantly. He or she? Well, even my first film when I did Zubeda, Manoj ji was not a non, he's not a good dancer. Uh-huh. But Karishma Kapoor is far better. Yeah. And even when I did a film called um, Shab with uh, Aishwarya Rai and Sanjay Dutt, mm-hmm. Sanjay Dutt is not a good dancer. Aishwarya Rai, of course, is a fantastic dancer. Mm-hmm. So yes, you do get sometimes somebody who is not a good dancer. but i think it's not only about the dance in cinema there's lot one can do and especially in bollywood we work a lot with our expressions so there's lot more we can do with expressions camera does lot of cheating as well so there are a lot of tricks to the camera so we make the person look a thousand times better uh, through our camera angles and camera tricks mm-hmm. and so i think we need that's a technician job that's a job which a choreographer must know it's not the dance is the technicality of the dance which is imp- of the camera and the dance which is important mm-hmm. which makes the artist who's not so good look very good how do you deal with that aura or that you know the smiley with a circle uh, how do you deal with that you know, a lot of people in fact tell me that when we meet you we get scared of you <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i was like i don't know why but i think uh, i remember my principal telling me a very beautiful thing once and also ravina tandon a bollywood actress i mean telling me something very beautiful it was my initial days of being in 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 films i was doing a reality show one reality show with her called um, chakde it was on this channel called 9x it was mm-hmm. a very hit show 
and after the film Chuck Day came out, the show was a very big hit, and we were on the judging panel together. Uh, I remember one day we went out of our shooting towards our caravans to have lunch, and there were a couple of um, kids standing outside, mm -hmm. and they came up to me and said, "Sir, can we take a picture?" And honestly, that time I was dying to go to the loo, so I said, <laughs> "I'll do it later," and I ran into my caravan. Mm -hmm. uh, Ravina Tandon was behind me. She gave them pictures and then she came to my van. We were having lunch together. She said a very wonderful thing to me. She said, Sandeep, you have just told those kids for a bad way. Like a little later mm -hmm. because you were running to your caravan. Now when you go back, you must call them and give them the picture that they want. Because for you as a person, they might be just one of your people who love your work. Mm -hmm. But that picture which they will take might remain with them for a lifetime. Very true. So remember these things in life, she told me. And till today, till today, I remember Ravina's words that if anyone is coming to me to ask me something or is meeting me for the first time, mm -hmm. the only thing you need to give out is warmth. Only thing you need to give out is courtesy, politeness and love and respect for the other person. Mm -hmm. Because I might not come back to Zurich again. I might come back to Zurich. One does not know. But the people I have worked with should remember, oh, we had a great time with this man. Absolutely. That is what is important. Rishne banana jo hai na, wo baat bhoat important sa zindagi mein ho jati hai. Kabhi kabhi zindagi mein hum log, humare jeevan mein hum log itne busy ho jate hai, apne kaam mein, apne kaaj mein, apne rozmarra ki zindagi mein, ki hum relationship ko baandna aur hai jod ke rakhna bhool jate hai. Mm-hmm. We are busy making money. True. Kala jo hoti hai, wo manch ki nahi hoti. Kala zindagi jine ki hoti hai. And zindagi kaise ji ja sakti hai? How can you live a beautiful life? That beautiful life you live is with your own, with people. With bonds and relationships that you build. Today, the models which, which were there in Zurich, I'm in touch with them on WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. We are still sending pictures to each other, not the show pictures, just generic pictures. Mm -hmm. Look at this, look at that. I'm in touch with you. <laughs> I met you for the first time in Zurich. And today mm -hmm. I'm on your show. It's mm -hmm. only because we, both of us and everybody around is giving out positivity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Positive vibes. There is no need to have attitude. I've got three national awards. I've got Avindana Tagore Prize. I've got doctorates, so and so. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Because it might be there today, it might not be there tomorrow. True, true. But what will remain with you are people, our feelings, our emotions. And they are the best memories in, in your life. Money is not a memory. True, very true. Memory is, is the time that we shared, the claps that you received. So that is what you need to build. It doesn't come like that. True. You have true. to make it. And I think that lesson of my life which I learned from Ravina and from my principal till today, till today, I am using it in my life. Charisma, you know, the charisma that you had throughout the time, even when you were stressed, you know, uh, we did everything in a day's time. So even when you were stressed, I could see you had that as a as an instructor, you were like very strict. But as a friend, as a cheerleader, you were like, come on, guys, let's do it. Let's do it. You know, that that thing is very important and which you had throughout on your face, which everyone could notice. You are a celebrity, you are a singer, you are a choreographer, ho, whatever role you are playing. But with that, you made those people feel important as well. You gave them value as well. And I think that's what people remember and cherish for longer period of time. Uh, it's, it's a very good lesson, which all the people who are watching us, they should take from a person like you, that status doesn't remain for long. But just as you feel it, just as you experience it, that's what people are going to remember for the rest of their life, because that's what stays with them. Money is aya gaya. But what uh, you feel it, and what you respect it, you know, uh, the respect that you earned during that period of time, it's something that's going to be there for the rest of your life. Um, moving on to something a little bit more delicate. You know, you have been successful. You have been having so many success stories which people can read about. But our audience would also like to know some of the, you know, some of the hindrances or some of the difficulties you faced 
either person you can choose to tell either personally or professionally in your life because life is not a bed of roses we all know that we need to create the magic. it is uh, you know the world of dance especially for boys is not a easy job mm-hmm. first of all when you say i'm a dancer a male dancer it's like oh you're doing a girly thing that one stigma which is always there with you mm-hmm. and the other one is that how will you run your house from where will the money come yeah and it's a struggle because in indian society especially in indian society the thing is job le lo you will have a monthly salary at the end of the month <laughs> at least bal bacche palenge you know ghar chalega so that's one thing we have where your life will keep going on because you get your month, at the end of the month you have a package coming home whereas in the field of dancing things are not very stable all the time like nowadays because of covid for the past one and a half two years there were no shows no events no classes so things were quite tough so how does one really manage i think the only way is to have a balanced life and i think i would give credit of this to my parents my father who was in the army and my mother who was a teacher and they taught me that a balanced life is very important and you don't have to be um, you know take your success into your head and when you get maybe that 10 15 20 shows a month you might get a lot of money together at one time don't blow it up so remember it's going to be your entire year so keep your savings going we come from a very very middle class family very i don't want to even say my father was very rich we were quite a uh, middle class and lower middle class uh, uh, society so we need to understand that money is important money is not everything so remember to learn to uh, uh, place it correctly so you don't feel a pinch when the, when the times are bad paisa aata jata rehta hai but aapko balance bhi karna rehta hai that thing i like your style so much is there a story behind uh, the tilak that you have uh, and i like seeing you know in the ear you're wearing a nice uh, piece of ornament as well uh, do you think about these things or you just create something like theek hai ye acha lag raha hai chalo kar liya and then that becomes a fashion that becomes a you know trend <laughs> of you the know, day actually uh, <laughs> it's it's a strange thing uh it's nothing to do with fashion this earring uh, i was uh, at my mom's house a uh, couple of days back and she was telling me you know i have this jewelry kept with me of your of my of her mother and one son or two pieces of her grandmother i don't know what to do no no i don't i don't wear it anymore you know like it's normally yeah. a, a lady in her late 70s would say that to her children she said to me i will look stupid wearing all this now it's not my age anymore so i said give it to me So she will you wear? I said, of course I'll wear. I'm your son, and I love jewelry as much as you do. So she said, okay, I'll give it to you. So she gave it to me, and I wore it. It was got wow. a news in the newspaper the other day by saying, oh, so Parker is wearing a year a, a Gujarati traditional earring as a new fashion statement. Well, uh-huh. it was not a fashion statement. It was just my mother's jewelry which I wore because she gave it to me. Same thing happened with the stika. About almost ten, twelve years back. I met the legendary Padma Vibhushan, Dr. Sonal Mansingh Ji, at an event in Ahmedabad for the mm-hmm. first time, and we were giving a talk about. She was giving a talk about Indian classical art form, and I was giving a talk about ballroom dancing, and how these art forms are getting famous in the country. Mm-hmm. And while talking, baat karte karte, Sonal Ji got up, and she said, "I've had a failed marriage. I've had a few relationships. I don't have any children." मेरा बेटा होता तो तेरे जैसा होता एंड शी वेज दिस टीका ऑल द टाइम सो शी कॉल्ड हर असिस्टेंट असिस्टेंट केम विद दिस आरती एंड यू विल नॉट बिलीव मैम ऊपर से नीचे तक का शी आरती टू मी एंड शी पुट दिस फॉर मी एंड शी सेड आज से तू मेरा डांसिंग बेटा है वाओ एंड दैट डे टिल टुडे एवरी डे इन द मॉर्निंग i wake up and i put this as a blessing from dr sonal man singh it's got nothing to do with bhagwan it's got nothing to do with god goddesses or any mantra nothing it's got nothing to do with style statement it's only got to do with the emotion that i felt with her mm. that's why i say relationships make so much of a difference in life true so what you see all this and you think fashion statement well it is all relationships <laughs> it's the love that my mother's love and my dancing mother's love good style i remember 2013 when i went for the first time representing india at the cans red carpet 
and uh, I was the I walked the red carpet wearing a tikka and a suit and a tuxedo, and there were press there writing about the Indian choreographer came there wearing tuxedo with a traditional Indian mark on his forehead. So I think it just happened to be. Uh, I think people call it a fashion statement here nowadays, but to me, it's just a feeling. To me, it's my love for the two ladies that I have in my life, and I will carry it till my last breath because I think it just makes me feel wonderful. Very true, very true. I mean, very nicely said when you were saying. I was getting all emotional. I think she's a Bharatnatyam dancer or a Odissi dancer. That's right, Bharatnatyam or Odissi dancer. She's a very attractive and beautiful dancer. Uh, so I could feel, I could feel like you know uh, the way you were saying. Though I did not know the story, the story behind your tilak. I thought you are a very <laughs> religious she person. The best dancer of our country. Very, and very her graceful. Her art, very her graceful. Techniques in her art are just brilliant, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uncomparable to anybody. True. And if she says that to me, it's a blessing. True. Blessing as well as a plus plus for you that you have not one but two mothers who are blessing you in uh, their unique ways. Every day, every I single day. I agree with you. I, I am fortunate. Forty <laughs> jeans be panoge, forty t-shirt be panoge. That will become a style statement. <laughs> I feel proud that you are doing something like this and giving respect to you know your uh, real mother, which has given you birth, and to your guru, ma, you can say, who you have your daughter, who you know the, the dancing son. It's it's really a big uh, thing for both. Uh, uh, recently, I saw a fashion show where you were featuring with your son. You know, looking very, very dapper. Oh, it was a big task actually for me. <laughs> He had walked the same ramp when the first kids' fashion week happened in two thousand and eleven. And we had closed the first India Kids Fashion Week. That time he was a young, little boy, uh -huh. and the same company called us now this year by saying, "Will Arjun uh, walk again?" And now he's a teenager, and we would like to. The new brand called uh, Avira okay. was launching a new boys' uh, collection, mm -hmm. and will he walk? It was not easy because I had to take permission from him. He is a showstopper. <laughs> <laughs> I am the assistant <laughs> next to him. And I was like, "Can would you be interested? Oh, I will see. I will think. Like I was showing a lot of attitude. You know how it gets with kids when they're sixteen, seventeen. And uh, so finally, it uh, took a couple of days to convince him to do that. Wow! But it's a proud moment because the same boy who used to come up to my knees when he walked for the first time is now standing right here next to my shoulder and walking. Wow! So I think it, and I really think kids grow up really fast. I wish they don't. They didn't grow up so fast. Uh, and today's <laughs> kids, I think they are really smart. Mm -hmm. They have a mind of their own. They know exactly what they want to do. Like, so I think today's kids are brilliant in what mm -hmm. they do and amazingly talented in so many ways. They have the world open to them because of the internet, mm -hmm. and they see things, they observe things, they know what looks good on them, what does not look good on them. I think there's lots to learn from them. Exactly, exactly. And as a parent, we feel very proud that our kids are doing by observing and reading more. You know, I would say we were not so so much ready to experiment because back then, you know, थोड़ा सा ये रहता था ऐसे करो, वैसे करो. There were certain professions which are a green yeah. tick, certain professions which are a big red cross. You know, you can't do it. But आजकल के बच्चे ऐसा नहीं सोचते हैं. You know, and that's yeah, that's what is important. Yeah, very very open. that's very and and it's also important to see how they are ready to experiment you know you know they're not afraid to fail uh, true i mean that's again a new generation mindset which is, is which is just great so on a parting note you know i know time we want to talk and talk and talk uh, i think i might have to do a part 2 with you because it's so nice <laughs> <laughs> so on a parting note what will be few words from the global inspirational man to the world at large आप क्या बोलना चाहोगे उनको आपका क्या मैसेज होगा उनको यू नो वन मैसेज आई वुड लाइक टू गिव टू एवरीवन व्हिच आई गिव टू ऑल माय स्टूडेंट्स एंड आई थिंक इट्स वर्क्ड वेल फॉर लॉट ऑफ पीपल इंक्लूडिंग मी अ नेचर इज टीचर्स लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इन लाइफ इज द बिगेस्ट टीचर इफ वी एम्बॉडी फाइव क्वालिटीज फ्रॉम फाइव डिफरेंट बर्ड्स दैट वी सी इन आवर रेगुलर लाइफ and try to take that good point into us we will be better students of life and keep learning the first one from a crow 
वट डू क्रो डू काक स्नानम बोलते हैं ना उसको आता है फटाफट नहाता है और चला जाता है विच मीन्स द एनी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी यू टेक अप इन लाइफ टेक इट अप टू मैनर विच योर पर्सनल थिंग्स बिकम शॉर्टर एंड वॉट यू टेकन अप इज योर फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी like i have many people coming to class and saying oh i didn't come there was this party i didn't come there was this thing like there were other things everything happens but what you have committed for if you have committed for a job if you have committed for a class stick with commitment leave your personal things aside ka ka snanam fatapat apna personal kaam karo nana personal kaam hai personal kaam fatapat karo aur nikal jao apne kaam par first one second one from the chidiya sparrow अल्पहारी जिसको बोलते हैं हैव यू एवर सीन अ फैट चिड़िया नो चिड़िया ऑलवेज नाइस एंड प्रोडी या हेल्दी बिकॉज दे डोंट ईट चॉकलेट्स एंड पेस्ट्रीज एंड यू नो बड़ा पाओ एंड भजिया पाओ एंड वट एवर पास्ता एंड पिज्जा डाइट एंड हेल्थ इज एब्सोल्यूटली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर अ डांसर और फॉर अदरवाइज फॉर नॉन डांसर एज वेल थर्ड वन वुड पैकर वुड पैकर एक चीज को एक जगह पे हजार बार मारता है वहां पे छेद करता है विच मीन्स यू मस्ट लर्न टू प्रैक्टिस मिलियन टाइम्स दे से ब्यूटिफुल थिंग इन डांस इट्स अबाउट प्रैक्टिस टिल यू डोंट गेट इट रॉन्ग आजकल के बच्चों में क्या हो गया है अटेंशन स्पैन इज फिफ्टीन सेकेंड्स इंस्टाग्राम रील थर्टी सेकेंड्स या दैट्स अटेंशन स्पैन दीपल हैव so it's important that you do a one thing a million times practice it so well that it becomes a part of your life wow be it giving positivity be it giving love be it giving anything mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so make it a million times the fourth one is like a crane bagula kya karta hai khada rehta hai ek pair pe one foot laser sharp focus patak marta and pakadta hai which means whatever you do focus Hundred thousand percent focus. Mm-hmm. You're a teacher. You know what I'm saying. True, true. Mind is diverted in thousand things, million things. No focus, because that focus will take you ahead in life, in your jobs, in your career, in your studies, whatever you're doing. Mm-hmm. The last and fifth one. I have taken too much of your time. I'm sorry. The fifth one, the last one, is the eagle. It flies the highest, but the eyes are on the ground. Ground, yeah. so let no success hit your head let no failures hit your head just keep flying and you'll go higher and higher and higher up kya baat hai kya baat hai maza aa gaya i was like ab kaun sa janwar aane wala hai ab kaun sa animal aane wala hai <laughs> only a man of wisdom can come up with so many things and you know put it in a very nice and methodical order uh, and sandeep you did it beautifully just as you dance Thank beautifully you. आपके वर्ड्स इतने सुंदर होते हैं आपके एक्सप्लेनेशन इतना अच्छा होता है लाइक यू नो इट फील्स लाइक अ स्टोरी आई थिंक यू कुड बी अ वेरी गुड स्टोरी टेलर यू कुड बी अ वेरी गुड स्टोरी टेलर एज वेल आपको वो भी एक बार अपना प्रैक्टिस करना चाहिए अपने डांसिंग के फॉर्म में वाइल डांसिंग योर स्टेइंग अ स्टोरी थैंक यू फॉर समथिंग वेर यूर टॉकिंग एंड डांसिंग एट द सेम टाइम सो थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग ऑन द शो It was really a pleasure to learn from the legend himself. Beautiful people who are going to be inspired by your talk, and I'm so blessed that you are here and sharing. Itne aaram se, itne aaram se. Jaise koi wo guru ka gyan chal raha hai, le lo. Main baat raha hoon. Jisko lena hai, le lo. You are a wonderful lady. When I met you in Zurich, I thought you had such great energy, so positive, with so such a wonderful smile. I think it just won everybody's heart, not only mine but everybody who had come from India. So thank you for everything you did for us in Zurich. You were just absolutely amazing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. May this new year bring tons and tons of good news, lots of positivity for everyone. Take care, thank stay you. safe, and stay healthy. Thank you.